Hello, I am Michelle Clark and I'm here to show you around this Winterham course um, for Chemistry and Society. Um, right now I am logged in as a student and this is what you will see when you go to the modules page um, as your as your home page and I wanted to point out that this semester we're not going to be using D2L. So if you go to D2L and you click on Chemistry and Society, this is the note that you'll find. So we're not using D2L this semester. We're using, or for the winter, we're using Canvas. And Canvas you can find by logging in to canvas.jccc.edu. And if you're watching this, you've probably already done that, but I'll send this link out as well um, in an email. So um, this is Winterum, and one thing that happens with Winterum is that students don't realize how much time this course is going to take. Um, so we're definitely, you're definitely going to be spending a lot of time on this course and it's important that you budget your time. Um, the way I have this set up, if you go to modules, you will see different timelines. Um, for unit one, I have that open from December 13th through December 19th. And um, there's a cat meowing. She wants to be a part of this video, sorry. Um, so, when you look at this task list, you'll see the date ranges and you'll see quizzes for practice, you'll see quizzes for credit. You will also see lectures to watch um, and a handout that goes with those lectures. So the easiest way to watch these lectures is to print out this handout and then I fill it in. Um, you can see a little bit of what I do. So I fill it in um, as you fill it in. So I've had students sometimes not realize that they could print it off and they spend a lot of time trying to copy down the printed off stuff and um, it can be a pain. So when you watch these lectures you see me and you see me writing and you hear me talking um, and so it works really well. Um, now in terms of my budgeting your time it is up to you to watch the lectures accordingly. I tell you how many lectures there are, there are, and then you can see um, their, you know, how long they are. So um, I recommend watching the lectures first, doing the practice quizzes for or it's second, um, doing textbook reading and homework problems, third, then going to practice or then going to quizzes for credit or you could do quizzes for practice depending on what order you would prefer. So it seems like it's not a lot of work based on oh well I just have all this you know stuff I have a few quizzes due but you're not going to be successful on these quizzes unless you uh, watch the lectures and uh, do your homework problems. Now these homework problems are from your textbook so um, I definitely recommend getting a textbook. The good news is it's not that expensive um, since it's an older edition. So definitely get the textbook. Um, so let's go back to home. So um, the other thing you will find, um, okay, let me, sorry, modules. Okay, so I was showing you the unit one task list. Um, some units have discussions and there are links to those. They have the deadlines all entered that you can see on your calendar. Um, so if you click on the calendar, I think, okay, yeah, so I just have it set up for Kim 120 365. You will notice that the deadlines all, it seems like it's a lot of assignments on a particular day. And um, that's because I have it within that range. I don't want you to do everything at the last minute and um, try to submit these assignments. And it, it, it would be 
a very bad idea because it's a ton of work to do. So spread these out, budget your time. Um, uh, let me get back to okay where I was. So um, it's really kind of uh, it's not a self-paced course because there are deadlines, but you need to think about how you're going to spend your time in this course, especially with Winterim, because we only have four weeks to get through a significant amount of material. So plan on spending a few hours each day. And I always tell my students, do not binge watch chemistry. You might be able to binge watch TV shows and Netflix series, but you cannot binge watch chemistry. It is a horrible idea because you don't remember anything. So if you see that unit one has nine lectures and um, you have six days to complete all of this work, including lectures, practice quizzes, quizzes for credit, kind of divvy it out on how you're going to do it. You know, I know a lot of you have lives outside of this course, especially over winter. So um, it used to be I would have it day by day, do this, do this, do this. And then I would have students say, well, I'm going out of town for that. Is there any time or is there any way that I can work ahead? And so that's why I have left it up to you. But you know when the due dates are and you know what you need to accomplish. Uh, my point is just don't ram it in at the last minute. Um, okay, I have some students who still enjoy reading textbooks and like to do that, so I have put those sections in. Also, the homework problems are not for credit. These are for practice, but may appear on exams, so um, you don't have to submit them anywhere. The nice thing about the homework problems is there are homework solutions, um, so you have all the answers, so you can get in if you ever have a question about something, please email me. Um, I would be glad to help with that. I've had a lot of success with students taking pictures of the homework problem that they're working. And then we kind of, um, like I'll take a picture of my work and that way you don't have to arduously type it in. Um, I also have the ability to video conference. Um, we can set up a Zoom meeting if you would like. So if there's something that um, you're having issues with. That's, that's something that's available too. Um, I kind of jumped right into the material, perhaps because it's winter and I know that it's important that you get started right away. Um, I have an announcements section. Um, this first one just is kind of an introduction. This will be the same one that you get in your email. Um, it's important that you log in. Failure to log in will result in dropping, getting dropped from this course. The other important part of this course is the lab component. There's a lab kit that you are required to purchase, and you can find that in the course materials section. Um, so the JCCC bookstore is the best place to get this. This, this is $130. And at first glance, you might think, gosh, that's a lot of money. Your textbook is $7, and the lab kit is $131. So it's it is a lot of money. I'm not saying that $131 isn't a lot of money. But think about the convenience. It used to be that these labs had to be done on campus and you, you know, would have to budget that time. And now um, with these at-home lab kits, so you buy this lab kit, it has everything you do need to do the labs at home. That way you can work from the convenience of your own home on your own timelines and um, it works out really well for students. I've had students all over the world take this course, so it's pretty cool. But um, yes, this, this is about the price of a normal textbook, so, um, but worth it. Um, okay, so labs are required. If you do, if you complete less, or if you complete 90%, of your labs, you're going to be fine. But if you don't complete any of the labs, you are going to receive a failing grade. Um, I'm opening the syllabus right now. Um, I'll change. This is for yeah, fall 2017. So winter is considered a fall 2017 course. Um, for winter right now, my office hours um, are just going to be online by appointment but I'd be glad to um, to work with you um, 
I do respond to my email within 24 hours, especially for winter. Um, okay. The one thing I wanted to show you Um, not finding it there. Uh, the lab, you must do your lab work so you get full credit for it. Um, and if you don't do your lab work, like I have students who will do like 50% of the lab work, you still fail the course. So, and the reason for that is because this course has lecture and lab linked. So when you transfer on to another school and they say, oh, you got a lab credit for chemistry and society, um, we have to validate that you did the lab portion. So um, that's why I have these criteria set up. Um, course materials modules is the best way that's um, to access. It's like content in D2L. I know a lot of you are probably coming over from D2L. Um, getting started text ta task list, sorry. Um, watching this video is important. There's getting started quiz. Um, and I'll give you a few, well, let me leave the student view so they can preview it. Okay, so daily homework questions are to be submitted for credit after completion. I tell you the answer here is false. It gives you an idea of this quiz. Um, I wanted to talk about question three. In order to get a lab credit for this course, the at-home labs must be completed. Additionally, this is the additional part, a picture with each lab must be attached. This picture must show you doing the lab. So um, I've called it a selfie before. I've gotten students who don't take selfies, so they kind of get offended. But a photo with you in, the pic in, the, in it with your lab kit. I don't need pictures of every step of the lab. I just need a picture of you with whatever um, materials are required for each lab. So um, if you don't submit a picture, you will get zero credit for that lab. Um, you know, I, I have to make sure that it's you doing the lab. So that's the other thing. Um, So other than that, um, if you have any questions, don't hesitate to email. I have this in the announcements section, um, also under the About Me page, the best way to get in con touch with me. You can message me through Canvas. You can email me at mclark31. If you email me at mclark, I'm not going to get it. That would be the first mclark at JCCC, and I'm the 31st one. So. Um, be sure to include that 31. Um, you know, I try to be respectful in my tone. Try to do the same. It's, you know, it's hard to keep remember that somebody's on the other end. But um, this is the second second year that I taught Winterum Chem 120, and the students that I had the first Winterum Chem 120 did so well compared to my fall. Chem 120 students and my spring Chem 120 students, they really did well. So if you're taking this course, chances are you're here for a reason. You want to get credit for this course. You don't want to mess around. And I am here to help you. I look forward to meeting all of you um, in one way or another. And um, again, let me know if you have questions. I hope you enjoy the course. Please, please have fun. and. Don't forget to take pictures with your lab and buy the lab kit. All right, I will see you later.